I'll show you. I'll show you what my practice has gotten me. Nowhere. Broke up their chains so miserably. Why? What's happening here? Assessment was right. They, like stacking willy nilly could get you a good four to six chain, but like you can't build off that. It might be shoal. It's potion. Time. Let's get to work. What is that mess happening over there? What was that? What an easy win. Not happening. streams we're going to do another quick after dinner after or after work after school stream of chain echoes help i'm help i'm trapped in a room you 
the father back on your feet? Great. I think your Lisbon friend is doing better as well. He went on a stroll. There's no one here. There's not even any treasure chests on this floor. Terrible. You guys seem as excellent, aren't you? I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> Sienna doesn't look so good. She probably needs a nice, nice devil pudding. Fresh air? No, I'm fine. I'm gonna stay here. My training's complete. The day after tomorrow, I leave Marilee and take over the management of her retirement home and go. The latest numbers just came in. The current percentage of homelessness in the Arnstrike has dropped into under 5%. We have our free shelters to take for that. Going. Parade on. From a technical standpoint, the Grand Braft uh, Grand Society has smeared our nation. Let me look around. We're even in a flying city without any flying on at all. The Grand Braft Society is always missing Valeria. Church has contact that loving your neighbors as yourself certainly only applies to the other members of the church, right? Truth be told, it feels a bit strangely strange to be here. The church brought about the demise of my village. Luckily, I'm a master of my emotions, I can control myself. Lord Marcus is often accompanied by a dark scry armor. He must be something like his private bodyguard. What was that pilot's name again? Endar? I think it must be an R, just like Lord Marcus. Income has been looking rather dismal for the last few months, but um, we unfortunately had to close a couple of orphanages in Pangea. Ooh, free nectar. We must increase the food supplies to Debrelia. Due to the length of this past war, the population is hardly anything to eat. Such a not big place in Marley's. Up the air is nothing special for us on trackers. We are a nation famous for our airship technology. We have a few airships as big as the city. And have you ever seen the General's caravan? That's even more impressive. Well, you guys are silly. You have to take off their helmet and find them by the pump. Oh, I'm so quiet. doesn't even do that. You must have to take a or something. Selling dupe weapons.
small bat. Kill it with fire before it grows into a bat monster or even worse, a vampire. But you'll probably just sell it, greedy bastard. Clothes and robes. Use gloves. Healing by 50%. I'll take it. What do we got? These are probably really, really good weapons, but I can't tell with everyone out of the party. Trap stays after being triggered. Healing heals can create. It's always hot here. But I don't even know how cold the nights can get. Many of my friends don't know either and trust to that. I miss them. Haha. <laughs> Orphanage. Did you know that we that you all call our sky armor technology is based on three legendary seraph armors? They're called Casper, Melchior, and Balthazar. Bye, Orphanage. Bye. What's Amalia doing there? All right, Chris. Time to learn how to do the small talk. Uh, what are you I mean, how are you doing, Mathras? We are doing fine, what do you ask? Your arms and legs, so they belong to your son? Not exactly. They are my son. These parts of what's left of him. Can you communicate with him? No, that's impossible. I can sense him. I can feel his heat there. Well, that's something. You're asking a lot of questions while keeping a lot of secrets to yourself. Secrets? You saw my past and I saw yours. Yeah, we do not see everything. True. It would most certainly be fair to let these secrets of mine since I saw yours. I think I know what you would like to ask. What do I pay, correct? What did I offer to receive this curse? The prayer of healing was not cheap. I thought I could offer one of my siblings, but they meant rather little to me, so the masked man did not accept them. Of course he wouldn't. He wanted to get rid of them, so that would be no too convenient. Fortunately, yes. So instead, I paid with a part of my life. I paid with my future. Your future? All the years that I would have lived in this world, I offered them. Don't tell me. I do not have much longer to live. Perhaps a year, maybe two. That's a high price. At least, with the help of healing, I have a chance to help with a lot of people before I leave this world. You are strong, Mala. Am Am Amalia. No! I think I received this curse because I was too weak. I was just another victim of the palace's intrigues. But contrary to my siblings, I received the chance to live a few years longer. I was lucky I was not strong. You were a child. You didn't have to be strong. It's the parents' task to protect their children when your parents failed, so did I. Anyway, I wonder if there's a way to lift the curse. If there is, you most likely will not find it within my lifetime. Probably not. Where, where did you go? You took a little, you took a little bounce to me. If you want to stay in good health, then good night's sleep is essential. I think I should return to the hotel. My body hasn't completely recovered yet. There's a 
lot of work just to find a treasure chest. I've heard that the Sky Eva was once called the Bar of the Northern Sky, so she supposedly is known to fight fiercely in battle. Cool. Every department in the Grand Breath Society has the same level of authority. Hydra and the Church is one of them. Together we are trying to lead Eldria to a better future through technological progress. Well, the church is financed by donations from the believers in the idea income of the Grand Society. Oh, you're interested in how the church is structured? Actually, no! Where the hell is that treasure chest? I'm going banu nu 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 news looking for it. No, oh, this is where I was before. Entries forbidden. Oh, oh the Holy Mother, the Holy Mother's Fellowship. You may pass, of course. I guess, although I advise against it. Work is torture, I tell you, but at least we found food in the roof over our heads. It's worse than the other parts of the world. The work is demanding and changes completely, but for God, we gladly never devote ourselves. Oh, I think my controller has it. I think it has got a dead, uh, dead space on there. The dead zone, I mean. I don't give a shit about Grand Barth. I work here because I have no other choice. Somehow I have to make ends meet. I might have to switch controllers soon. I was taught not to associate with such people, but the church of God showed me that even these people are human beings. Do you think they have it hard here? Do you know how hard it is to stand for hours doing nothing? Everyone who is dissatisfied should work harder. The diligent should be rewarded. You would think that there would only be eating watery soup down here, but we're actually getting large chunks of meat every meal. What animal is this meat coming from? Oh boy, you should learn how to ask the right questions if you want to stay happy down here. This might have arrived. Look at that leg. That must be a huge cow. Ooh, I think they might be eating monsters. Hi, Kiwi Swell. Kiwi Cell. Good to meet ya. Hope you enjoy your stay. In this place, our proficient tinkerers are working on machinery. They work the work may be challenging, but those who are particularly taught me to move on to Grand Grit's R D department. What should I do? Oh dear God, I have to bring the poor woman in there a horrible message. Her husband died while making repairs to the outer walls of the city. He looks so exhausted from all the work that he wasn't concentrating. Missed a step. How am I going to tell her that? I fell ill a week ago. My husband has to do all the work now to support us. This vase is content, so I was like... Okay, sir. One dollar. I took one dollar from somebody. This might be my escape route. and orphans and rob bonds since the war. We need more money to help them all. Alright, we have all the information on Wethelgan. Sorry, we must convince the exit there. We need them in the church. I 
told them all that Excellency is currently not available. They're still waiting in lines. Okay, can't go this way then. Second time in Marley. The last time was about 200 years ago. And ours memory is not almost that much better than home, so I don't remember a lot. I didn't even know it, but it could fill the whole bookshelf, which is why I saw them carry with me. <laughs> okay, I got them all. Now I can progress the story. Now that I've looted the place, I don't feel bad if something horrible happens to this place. Yeah, Amal uh, Amalia was right there. Then, there you are. You are conscious again. What a relief. But your face is still marked by paleness. You should probably stay in bed. Listen to me, Len. I, I had another dream. Until now, I couldn't remember my previous life. I still don't know remember everything, but now I know who I was. That's great. I'm happy for you, Glenn. I couldn't explain it until now, but I've always had a familiar feeling being close to you. I realized back in Kortara when we were stranded alone. So, we knew each other from our previous lives? Didn't you have that feeling? I'm not sure what you mean. I was a teacher in the Order of the Leonor. No, that can't be. Remember how you almost died when we had to send off your echo? I remember. I followed you shortly after that. It's me! I'm Timothy. You're... Timothy? I know it's unbelievable, but... I... I... Lynn, wait! Let go of me. What's wrong with you? I don't get it. <laughs> Drop it and leave her alone. But... You have no decency at all from one day to the next. Lynn is overwhelmed by the memories of a lifetime. It's lucky she's still sane. She probably just needs some time to sort through her memories. Time? Yeah, that's that's probably it. Your Highness, the visitor from Marley is here. Bring him in. Oh no, did that idiot- Yeah, he did. This idiot brought it back. Oh, 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 okay. What did you say your name was? Killian, your highness. Your information, oh, what was his voice? Was he, was he Pegasus? Your information about Mari Lee was served as well. I, no I noticed. It did not escape me on the way here. You are mobilizing your troops. Very, very keenly observed, and that is why I'm afraid I won't be able to let you go. But speak, what brings you to us today? What this is? The Grand Grimoire. How did you become... How, it's always hard to remember. Yugi boy. How did you come into its possession? I took it from your sister. Don't worry, I didn't harm her. She didn't concern me anymore. But why are you bringing it to me? You know what it is that you're holding there in your hand, right? I do. I brought it because you're the true ruler of Velandis, and this weapon is yours. You are the rightful owner. Is that what you think? Your Highness, I think Killian's indeed deserves the greatest rewards we can offer. He has brought us the weapon that will forever protect, protect your realm. Indeed, you have the infinite gratitude of Tyron. You may have whatever you wish for, gold, some land, the title of nobility, anything you want. All that and the price placed in the ranks of the generals along with their power. Are you serious? <laughs> what insolence! But after General Godfrey's departure, we actually are in need of a new replacement. Killian was your name. If you want all that, I'll make you a deal. <sighs> Killian's making like devil deals left and right and it's so questionable. Turn me in. I don't wanna. No. Actually, 
yes. We want to look at you. Then, everyone's here now, Sienna. There's something I have to explain to you. I know you won't be able to believe me, and it will be the biggest surprise of this trip for you, but I have to get it off my chest. I was once a part of the church. We know that. Wasn't it obvious? How can we not have noticed? What? You all belong to the church? You knew. Well, except Ego, apparently. How? You were well informed about the facilities in Shambhala. You seem to know how to visit Raphael. And li likewise this Wyatt. Hmm. Well then, sorry to have stolen your time. Anyway, to wrap it up, I uncovered those facilities in Shambhala and other crooked business and left the church. I have been traveling the world ever since. I'm just surprised no one in Marley recognizes you. As High Inquisitor, I always have to wear a helmet. Ordinary residents and soldiers don't know my face. You all have the rank of a High Inquisitor? That's surprising. I wouldn't have thought I'd be capable of it. Yes, have fun at my expense. I'm being modest for once and have returned and heard nothing but mockery. Thank you, Sienna, for telling us the truth. They may tease you a little true, but it means a lot to us. Thanks. Well, that's it. Let's return to our rooms. Can't you sleep, Rob? I don't understand you, Sir Agil. Well, is it? I'm the reason you're wrecking your brains. You should be. You should hate the people of Marley with all your heart. They have oppressed your village and ultimately brought it to its death. Forgive me. The church is to blame, that's true. But does that make every single resident guilt guiltily guilty? They belong to the church, isn't that a reason enough? There can be many reasons why one each one of them is a part of the church. However, well, don't not every one of them are involved in the fate of my people. Should I just condemn them all? It would be the easiest thing to do, but would it be the right thing to do? You're not gonna so logically. The common people who bullied me in the court of Tormund. I hate them all with my heart. Sir Eggle, you are a noble knight. Doesn't your pride hurt when you walk through Marley? It's the death of my people that painfully pains me, but mere revenge will not bring them back. It's only not if I take some random citizens as easy targets just to satisfy my need of revenge. If I do that, then I'll be ashamed of myself. This really hurt my pride. I understand. I wish I could see the same way as you. Well, what's keeping you from it? I wonder. Are you, are you sure you want to do this? No, of course we're not sure. Our first priority is Lens' well-being, after all. If he only had been conscious, we could have stopped her from coming here. If you were really planning to kill him, it would throw the entire world into chaos. Are you aware of that? No. It will actually save the entire world. Take our word for it. You screwed up. What if Killian returned the stone to King Frederick? Even if you brought them to Grimoire and Grimoire in position, they won't be able to memorize so quickly. Besides, we've re we found Raina's tomb. There's no longer any reason to stay in Belanda's. Enough! I don't want to hear any more. Away with you! You do not deserve to meet the Holy Mother. Your Excellency, Princess Slash of Valkyria Taran is here. At last! I I'm honored to be able to meet the Holy Mother! Who would have thought that you would be one during my administration of all times? I am here because you want to speak with me. What is it? Your Excellency, leave the talking to me. You may also leave the room. But... Very well. Do -do 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 -do. Celestial, welcome. My name is Marcus, and I'm the leader of the Grand Brock Society, which, as I'm sure you know, also organizes the church. I know of Granbrath, but you originally are from the Order of Lanar, aren't you? You know, very good. Get away from me. Ah! Oh, no! What are you doing? How unexpected, the vessel's empty. The three guardians within you are gone. Three, three guardians? What are those? Celestia, you are here because I have something to explain. I have to explain some things to you. 
The church is descended from the Lord of Leonar, a group searching for a weapon that can defeat the Harbinger. We will work together to achieve this goal, but first, we have another common enemy. You speak of the vein? Indeed. They were supposed to wait from their throne in another dimension for us to find a weapon. But the immortality they gained there went to their heads. They felt the gods who thought they could, they felt like gods who thought they could judge mankind. And that is why they created the Grand Grimoire and destroyed the human world over and over again. They were afraid that mankind would become too strong. They made sure that the population and progress would be set back for millennia. How how is it that we don't know about this from history books? History is written by the survivors, and these are written, these are named by the vein. They decide what is written. We, even we of the Order do not know how many times this cycle has repeated itself. That is also the reason why you maidens exist. Narratives change, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. Over millennia, one story becomes another. However, you maidens carry the unadulterated knowledge in your memories. No matter how many centuries pass, you all know what really happened. Not because of stories, but because you have all experienced everything yourselves. You are the truth of the Order. You really want me to trust you. I swear to God, I'm on your side. But what is the reason for the monsters on Shambhala? We need to use the Grand Grimoire to destroy the Bane. But you do know, but do you know the true nature of the Grimoire? It must destroy life and absorb the Aether to gain power. To kill the Bane, we need to make the Grand Grimoire as strong as possible. This is why we created monsters that we could create the sacrifice to the Grimoire. After all, we don't sacrifice humans like King Frederick. But... You sent the monsters to the surface of Aldria. We send the leftovers to our safe stations on the surface because we have developed something much better than those little beasts. We have created lumps of flesh that house as much aether as hundreds of monsters. Is this what this is all about? To protect human life? We don't have plenty of time to get to know each other better. Not if I run away screaming. Celestia, there are three things you need in order to kill the Vane. The Grand Grimoire is a weapon, the key from the Tomb of Reyna, and of course, the fitting door behind which the Vane are hiding. Here, you can have the key back. So, the key opens the way towards the Vane, but this is nothing more than a flower. And what about the Gringam War? Please hand it over. We hard fought hard for it. Well, there is a little problem. It was stolen from us almost immediately. What are you saying? You were supposed to take care of it? What's happening now? Oh, ruining my hair. Lord Marcus, we're under attack. Terran strips have ambushed us. Impossible. How could this be? They could have mobile so quickly and come up with us. Well, you thought wrong. Sir so Lord Marcus, I have just been hit. We're going down. Terrence Generals are casting unimaginable magic. They have destroyed all the Pedenta walls. So does the rumored power that destroyed Nebralia. Hey, Lord, I have initiated all preparations for counterattack, but for safety reasons, I advise you to get on the rescue ship with the Holy Mother. Our conversation must continue another time, Celestia. We gotta go. What is going on? Oof. Hey, you there, what's happening? Terran's attacking us. Get to the shelters quick. King Frederick is attacking the church? Has he gone mad? We need to find Len and get out of here. Agreed. Oh, and here, another a soldier. They must have escaped into a shelter or rescue ship. Seen the damage done so far, I would pick the ship. And you think they took Lan with them? Of course, she's the Holy Mother after all. Come, I will lead you the way to the hangar. Maybe we can catch up. I'm glad I have more than eight people in a party. He 
heals can hit as well. I've already got one of these. Pointless man. Everyone got good new gear? We're good? Okay, let's learn these new skills. Oh, it's once per fight? Oh, that's not great. Gotta make sure there's nothing like I no I have to need to have it on here. Got a storm plus, yes, gotta keep that on. Suspicious darkness. Hell yeah. He just doesn't have any new moves. I gotta put something on him. Oh no, he's gone out already. Oh, there's no Terra maxed up yet. Oh, my goodness. One point, that's all I needed. Magician, sort of. Wait, why would he still need? Why would he still need cleric? Mind up. He's got the moves. It's the secondary skills he hasn't learned that yet. Fine. 
gonna take a bit, but. Lyman's Bluff. something that he can use. Oh, I know that was going to come back at some point. Yeah, yeah. Villain rags to riches. That's a good way to put it. Way. That chest is mine. Accessory really helps. You priests have too much health for some reason. for the gold nuggets. Pacifist's charm? Fifty percent chain to gain no aggro for action. Interesting. Oh dear, why did I follow you? Please get out of here. Please get us out of here. I'll say you some stuff, okay? better gear than what they're offering. Good, good, good. What did you think was going to happen when you followed weirdos? We don't have the key to this door. stairs down for some reason. Are you okay? Oh my goodness, no they're not. A tamed beast and a beast tamer.
so much damage. It's ridiculous. Pedal star! He sting! Nothing to steal, so I'm just gonna cut you. So maze like he can't be Fox. I got a double back. Ugh. Who designed this place? Wait, they're my companions. We have to take them with us. Hey, but hurry. Oh my goodness, I did not expect murder. What are you doing? What is the meaning of this? <sighs> Damn it. Damn it, you of all people got away from me. Have you lost your mind? Don't believe anything Marcus says. He's just feeding you lies. What do you mean? Maybe the Vrain are both our enemy, but that doesn't make the church our ally. Marcus took control of the church long ago and split it from the Lord Order of Leonor. He is not one of us. On the contrary, he belongs to a sect that awaits the return of the Harbinger. Is that true? Why are you keeping this from me? My echo has awoken. I don't want to hear any more lies. And you should not hide any from me either. We understand. Forgive us. We've been silent for so long that we have, learned, we have to learn anew on how to trust. I will help you with this. I'm sorry for hitting you. God help me, they murdered the Pope! You just stood there, lady? Ha, <laughs> you're next. Enough rambling, we gotta go. Can I search the body? Where'd that witness go?
stop hitting him. the healing potions. killed somebody. I was like, can I get away? Here we go! Good 
dodge. Well done. this. A meal. Oh, I took his lunchbox. Stylish accessory. Ultra moves are more efficient. I don't know what that means. Does that mean that they charge faster or what? Then we could technically jump down from here. Ah, uh, yes. Might as well. Sharpen your fists. The boss is out of control. Oh, looky, look, we need to help them. Are you crazy? There's no time for this. No, Sir Eggle's right. We can't abandon them. What are you talking about? You of all people. That's right. Me of all people. You're all fighting for your ideas while well, I'm just trotting along after them. I am nothing but hate and angry. Me. I, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to do this anymore. No. Go without it. Sir Eggle and I will take care of these people. No. No. We won't leave you alone. We can't miss Glenn's life. If you care so much about my life, then help and let's get over this over with quickly. Thank you, man. Damn, hurry up then. Yeah, meanwhile, I've been traipsing around, traipsing around looking for treasure.
yeah, double turn. Oh yeah. Oof. Take a bear. people. What did I just ask?
I'll get back to that. Huh? Follow us on a safe distance. We'll find our way out of here. <laughs> what is this? How are you there? What's with all these monsters? Speak! On the Pope's command, we have to bring them here. From where? From Shambhala. The facilities in Shambhala. Was this you? you was this you were talking about, Shiana? Oh, look. Treasures here. Okay. Not up. Okay. See that box? I want it. I'm gonna fight them. It's just I want to get around for a sec. Call a command. But we're missing a captain. Oh god, please save us. There's those who are trying to be masking, they're doing nothing! Uh huh. Beat them to pieces. Hell yeah. meal
we're not. We're trying to get the hell out of here. Uh, the Kingdom of Terran is basically all like, Oh, we got them on the ropes now! And then they're coming to attack, and so we're trying to get the hell out of here. But for some reason, these churchers are in my way. Once a young man fell into a deep emotional hole and was on the verge of giving up God's greatest gift. R Raphael. But then Father Hyob appeared. He showed the young man the way of God and gave him reason for his existence. Wherever Father went, he did good, and the young man was always by his side. He had cranky sides, true, but his heart was pure. This allowed him to eventually be elected as the Pope, and the young man to become an Inquisitor. Thus far, and no further, murderers of His Excellency. Out of the way, Raphael, we must flee. Myrily is lost. The Pope has made joint cause with a demon. Silence, traitor. Only, the only demon right here is in front of me. That's rich. Do you not realize the monsters all around? Eva. How dare you? Didn't you destroy enough back then? You betrayed the church and abandoned your wife. You are married. You wouldn't come with me, Ava. When I discovered those monster facilities back then, yeah, I'm sure the Pope had his reasons for those facilities you spoke of. They were just the tip of the iceberg. When the veil was lifted, I saw the true side of the church. The misappropriation of funds, the handling of heretics, the abuse of power. The church is not perfect, I know that too. If you had stayed, we could have changed it together from the inside, but instead, instead you ran away from the problems and left me all alone. Enough. The world will fall into chaos of the church itself and you're to blame. I think we've got no choice but to fight. You are heretics and we are inquisitors. These blades shall ex execute judgment. I can steal from them both.
Staging four. Platinum nugget. I'll take it. The board, you know, this is gonna do up time. Oh, oh well, no stand a chance against the strongest woman of fair world. Okay. <laughs> was it you, Princess Lesha, who leaked Marley's position to Frank Frederick? No, I've severed all ties to my brother. Plus, when could I have done that? I was immediately captured by it. Liar, you were related by blood. Only death can cut those types of ties. Grimoire shard, nice. You're a true Jergosian, and congratulations. The church that you hated so much is destroyed. Your wishes of the old have been fulfilled. I never wished for any of this. You gave me no choice. Sienna, we should keep moving. Go, Sienna, at least try to save yourself. I have failed to my task on the Inquisitor, and as your wife. If I. I never really wanted this. Now go! Come on. To be fair, we're a. Uh, Brambunctious team of ten people filled with magical powers. At this rate, Marley will fall. They didn't see the attack coming at all. At least we escaped. Look, the formation of sky armors over there is protecting the armored one in the ranks. It's the same as in the battle against Escania. Do you think they're carrying the Grand Grimoire? I'm getting closer. Can I do a copy? Is the radio transmission working? Yes, I hear you cut loud and clear. The enemy's ranks are in chaos. Your sky armor should be able to reach Marley. You know what to have to do. Yes, Sir Gwain. It's time. We're, we're, we're grateful, no doubt, but your wishes are enormous. Nevertheless, I see a way to be able to fulfill them. What do I need to do? My journals will have to channel their magic and be able to unwield 
able to wield the Grand Grimoire. My esteemed advisor, Gwen would not even be allowed to touch the stone. So we need someone who can smash the stone that ranks our enemy. However, I don't know anyone to entrust our most valuable weapon to, except... Except? Except the person who possessed the Grimoire could have escaped with it, yet brought it to me instead. A reason tells me that you're the only person I can trust with the stone. So use and destroy my early, and we will give you all the privileges of a general. Gold, power, land, as well as all the abilities of the Grimoire. As you wish, your highness. When the battle is over, I'll have the rank of a general, including the abilities. Do you see the things I've achieved, Glenn? Soon I will, achieve, uh, uh, I will be among the most powerful men in all of Aldria, and then I'll cleanse this world. The time has come, Kellen. You can use the Grimoire now, smashing merrily with it. What a goon. The fate of all these people is not in my hands. Like Elfried and the Band of the White Dragon, I'll create a new world. All that's left is a simple move in my hand. Yeah, it's the idiot. How can you betray us? Where are your principles? Oh, don't pretend it's easy for me. I know that after this, there's no turning back. The blood of thousands will be in my hands. They'll become a part of me. The first thing your sister will see when she wakes up is not the beautiful one you created, but the monster her brother has become. My, mother, my sister will understand, won't she? Kelly, what's going on? Smash the grimoire. No, I know she won't. But should I let this opportunity slip away just because I hold her opinion of me so highly? I'm doing this all for her. The whole world can blame me. I can live with that, but her? I, I can't. Look here, look out. You idiot. No, the grimoire is sinking to the bottom of the sea. It, mi it might be the best place for it. But can we stop the van without it? Woo! I was thinking! It seems like Fred King French was able to defeat Miley without the stone! How what paste ever take written by Landis with everything is burning? Why are you doing this, Frederick? All the deaths, all the hate, I cannot take this anymore. Hold on. How what? So. Ava didn't know that Killian obviously ran away with the stone because the other guy knew about him being missing. That Killian was a disappointment, but we have won the battle. Hopefully, Gwen can recover the stone. My king, we just got a message from Tormund. It's terrible. From the homeland? Speak. After our fleet left, there was a coup. What? Rebels stormed the palace of Tormund. Hundreds of them. From all over Valandis, people from Farnsport, Basil, Aiden, Wyanshire, Tormund, from everywhere. All together under the leadership of the general named Farron. <laughs> Laughable! What are they thinking? Alright, let's play along with the childish game. Let's see how long we get to enjoy it. There he is, my beloved. Good eyes, Joe. Saw the Grand Gomar safe in the abyss. Who do you plan to return it to? King Frederick or his sister? I afraid fate correctly, I should hand to King Frederick next. The stone needs more power to kill the vein. And what do you plan for him? Kick him. His organs have punctured. He's going to die. No healing magic can save him. Healing may not save his life, but I may have a way to help him. Why go to these lengths? He has potential. If Glenn fails, he will be his replacement. You don't think Glenn's gonna make it? We'll see soon enough. The finale is near. This doesn't look good, my lord. Do not worry too much. What is a city and a few human lives? But the Grunk of Mortal Bird. Our end goals may be different, but Gwen and I, we share the same interest in killing the Vane. He will help, he will find the Grimoire, open the door, and with the help of the Holy Mother, kill the Vane. So, then it's only a matter of time until our Lord awakens. The Vane will die. The three protectors of Celestia have already disappeared, and Gwen doesn't have long to live. All the obstacles are disappearing one after another. Our plan will come to fruition. Do not worry. But that is a story for another time. Lynn, are you alright? Am I alright? My world's completely been turned upside down again. My brother's a monster and I'm on a mission to eradicate evil from the world. I remember everything now, but do I understand it? All these memories from the past are flooding in on me, and I hardly even have time to process them. Amalia was right. That's why you reacted the way you did when I told you I was Timothy. I understand. Now don't start that again. It's too much. I'm sorry. I just thought I could bring some comfort. Because you think you're Timothy? Damn it, Glenn! Think about it! What do you mean? Are those really your memories? What did you see in your echo? I saw both of us! I saw you get stabbed, and I saw him carry you to the priest. 
Him? I can sense it, Glenn. He's not Yao. Why did I see him? I think you're the prince who stabbed her. Dummy. You dummy, dumb, dumb, dummy. And because of this, we built sanctuary of the world for that. We send the echoes of our maiden through this maelstrom. He's still talking. Yeah, you're Van, you dummy, dumb, dumb. Hey, Timothy, let's get out of here again. Bye bye. We saw this scene already. Uh huh, they hug, he comes out jealously. Stab, stabby, stab. How dare you? How dare you cheat on me? Get out of my way. A knife. Knife attack. Critical hit. No! Sad music, sad music. Oh no, she's been grievously wounded but can wait 20 minutes. It's not my fault. She provoked me. Things don't play to. You want to stay together forever? How? How dare they insult me even further? I don't think we need to see the scene again. Please stop this at once. What? What are you doing? Man, it's meant for me. You've got too far. Oh, it can't be. I was an idiot then, too. Ah! Ah! What's, hap what's happening? What's happening, Echo? No, no, no! This looks bad. He's completely losing it worse than ever before. I'm not Timothy. Glad you need to calm down. Calm down? I killed, I killed Lynn. While King Frederick was fighting the battle against the church, resistance groups throughout Philandus took their chance. Led by the Crimson Wings and Farron, the palaces in Farnsport and Tormund were seized. Weakened by the battle, King Frederick saw no possibility of recapture. His troops retreated to Raminus Tower, an ancient fortress in the heart of Kortar. While the rebels hoped for negotiations, the king surprised them with a terrible ultimatum. All rebels must withdraw from Tormund, or he will be forced to use the grim Grimoire within his own walls. Uh, no, it's reincarnation. They're forcing their souls to get reincarnated. Well, with intact memories. But you have to be dying, apparently, to do it. That's what stabby stabberoo. Thus, it happened that he would go down in the annals of history as Frederick the Merciless. Are you sure about your decision? The bluff will only stir more hostility among the people. You speak of a bluff? My own generals doubt my decisions. What am I to make of this, Quaid? My king, you know I'll follow you anywhere, but please reconsider. It's the rebels' turn to reconsider their position. Walls can be rebuilt, but human lives do not return. Your Highness, our men are exhausted and our energy reserves are mostly used up. But still, we would be able to track, take back Tormund without the Grimoire. Our enemies are peasants. They might be able to handle a fork and knife without a sword. Although I came to the throne at a young age and without an experience, I managed to reunite Valandis, the first king in over 150 years who have been able to do so. What more do I have to do to make people stop doubting my competence? 
If you distort Tormund, you'll be assured of the people's hatred. If Tormund is to be spared, then the rebels need only to surrender. Enough for today, you may leave. All of Volandis hates me? I guess that's something I have to live with. Do I see a smile, your highness? You understand soon, Gwen, all this will end. I can't do anything. I'm sorry. His mind's completely closed off. He's in a coma. He probably won't wake him from that anytime soon. Thank you, Doctor. I imagine he slaps her on the ass on her way out. This has happened once before. Some years ago, we met another maiden of the Order. Her echo did not get away from her. Waken. When we revealed too much information from her past, her mind broke. She fell into a coma and never woke up. It's my fault. Why was I so heartless? Why am I such a bitch? Pointy fingers won't help us now. She's here, Sir Victor. It's the witch. So, this is humble home with my beloved friend. Oh! Oh, well, Glenn, what have they done to you? Why? Why is she here? I called her because she can enter a person's psyche. You want me to take you to Glenn's mind? Is there a chance of helping through his ordeal? There may be a chance, but you're forgetting one thing. I need someone to show me the door so I can open it. Glenn can't do this in his condition. There has to be someone else who can, right? Do you know how long I've waited for Glenn? Several years. Ooh, what am I sensing? You! May, what do you have in your bag? Oh, there's a lot of porn in there. It's the flower from Freyna's grave. Oh ha! Oh ha! <laughs> oh ha! Oh ha! Do you know what you have here? It's a human. There's a human soul inside this flower. You're joking. I never joke about my profession. Are you saying? Are you? Yogi, oh. are you saying this eternity really, which has been in the grave for centuries, holds a human soul? For centuries, you say? Oh, poor thing. I see. She's just a shadow of her former self. Can't think right. Can't speak right. Who did such a thing there? Poor Lady Reyna. Lady Reyna? Lady Reyna? The soul Lady Reyna is in the flower? Huh? To find the Lord of the Underground, the gates shall open. What do you mean by that? Is that what she's saying? Over and over again. If this flower is the key, then this can be the magic key phrase again to the vein. Poor, poor thing. I'll put you out of your misery soon, but first you must make a reach your gate. We can enter Glenn's mind? Indeed, but it will be dangerous. Remember that I will stay behind. I need to keep the door open so that your ether is not cut off from your bodies. Everybody, line up. Wait a second. All right, then don't line up. Here we go. My dearest Glenn, we'll free you. I'll make sure of it. Can you hear me? Good. It looks pretty gloomy here. Not my taste at all, but well, in order to save him, we need to find his id first. The hurry, hurry. Let's let's do the... Ooh, two Grimoire shards. We'll do the shards first, and then we will end the stream for now, and then we'll be back again about 9.30 Eastern Standard Time-ish. Uh, we'll be playing some... Deep... Deep Rock Galactic, I think? I'm trying to remember DRG. Yeah. We'll be playing it together uh, as um, Brian, Ryan, Leonard, and myself will be playing it together. So please be sure to stop by later on tonight and watch our shenanigans. I don't like heaven or hell. The user dies after three turns. I don't like it. Heavily kick! But that's it for me now. Everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you had a great time with me today, and I hope I'll try and do a stream tomorrow because I, I don't know what's going to happen this weekend, but you know, more fun for all of us, right? Uh, be sure to check out our Discord. Uh, that's where we talk about stuff, post 
links and all that good discussion that we talk about games that we really really like so be sure to check us out there our end of month giveaways for a copy of uh legend of zelda uh tears of the kingdom that's not out yet but we're gonna get a copy soon that week when zelda comes out we're gonna be doing a zelda blitz we're gonna be playing nothing but zelda games probably not the same ones but you know we'll see um i think that's it uh who are we gonna raid we gotta raid someone friendly Oh, whoa. Uh, it looks like uh, LQ People's Champ is still playing Persona 2 Innocent Sin. We'll give them a friendly jump over. Be sure to give them our positive vibes and be kind to them and, you know, all that good stuff. I'm going to hit the raid button and then we're going to move over there in about 10 seconds. Have a great night, everyone. Stay safe out there. Work on your backlogs. Don't let them haunt you like ghosts. I'll see you again in a couple hours back on the channel here with Brian, Ryan, and Leonard. And we're going to be playing uh, Deep Rock Galactic. It's a multiplayer game where we're mining stuff, I guess. I hope you all love it. See you all later and have a great night, everybody. It's been Mike from DXP Streams.